Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. So first, I'm checking my Facebook, making sure I'm going live. One second, and there I am, going live. So thank you very much for watching today. So today, the topic is, we're talking about if you, your job as an agent is to find the pain, find the discomfort that your clients are having and be the solution. It's kind of like being a real estate doctor. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make some, some comparisons here. <laughs> this is some doctors. Uh, I'm not putting down doctors, but I am pushing up how much we do as realtors through these transactions, especially if you, you've been through those tough transactions where you go, oh my God, these people would never have gotten through this without me or my help. That's beautiful sometimes. But, so today I'm gonna go over, you gotta find the pain. So just like a doctor, you have to ask questions. So you have to ask, keep on asking questions. So where's the pain? Where's the discomfort? Where's it coming from? Where, where's the hardship? What are you gonna to prescribe to them to help them with the things that they need? Now, you have to, one of the things is you have to continue to ask questions because as you, working with your clients, you kind of like, again, I'm using this example, going with the doctor, they do, they go, okay, do, do this therapy, take this medication, do this, uh, do that, eat this, don't eat that. And as you're going, you have to go up for follow-up to find out if those things are working or if they're causing more problems. Sometimes agents just do, they don't ask questions throughout the, the uh, transaction or the relationship. And then you don't understand what's happening and you might, the, what you're doing might be making things worse because every client, like a doctor, every patient is different. Doesn't react to the same uh, therapy, doesn't act with the same medication. And just like you have a good doctor, um, when, you give a, when you take away that pain and you give someone, uh, take away that discomfort, you ha they're a client for life. You're, that's how we build relationships. They need you. How many of you, or maybe you, or you know someone that just, they love going to the doctor, or they don't love it, they just always, I gotta call my doctor, gotta call my doctor, gotta call my doctor, I gotta go do that. I, I have relatives like that too. I'm like that sometimes too. Like I'm, all of a sudden after years, I'm like, I'm going to the doctor like every month, why am I doing that? But, uh, but you, that's your trusted person. And when you build that relationship up, and even when they give you that, you as an agent, you give them those tough answers, they know that you're doing it. Now also, why you have to ask a lot of questions is, again, like going to the doctor. You go to the doctor and you say, I got a headache, oh, I got a headache. And they go, okay, we need to operate on you. You can't just go from one question or, and, and not ask questions. Like the doctor, you'd be like, I don't want an operation. You get ask me some more questions. Like, when did the headache start? What are you doing? Are you, you know, straining your eyes? Are you eating something? Are you not getting enough sleep? You have to ask questions. You can't go from start to finish because they think that you don't care, or you don't think that you're you're serious about your job, or you think you're trying to find a, a different solutions to the problem. Like example, uh, a, 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 you have a seller that want, has to sell their house and it's, it's on the market for a long time. You have to have that conversation of, oh, we gotta lower the price. Well, ask questions, why? You have to show them why. Well, here's the houses that sold. Here's the houses that are on the market. This is the ones that are pending. These are the, the, the ones that sold and this is what uh, they sold for and what they, their uh, houses were, uh, all the, the things in their house. They were four bedrooms, three bedrooms. Uh, they had square footage, they had acreage. What, what was the difference? You have to explain your diagnosis for their pain and their problem. So, I'm sorry if I'm offline here. Hold on, I just saw something that said I was offline. Hold on, just in case. All right, sorry about that everybody, one second. Uh, check in my feed here. All right, if I went offline, 
and I'm trying to check my internet connection. I apologize. I'll have this uploaded. <laughs> so, so to continue on. Sorry about that pause there. Uh, you got to continue to ask questions because and and find the solutions to these problems. Um, the thing is, is that just like doctors, and I said just said this, is that you feel that when you they sh you show them that you care, you you're really trying to find from start to finish where things started, where where you're gonna we're gonna get to a solution at the end, we're gonna figure this all out together, and get this done for you, and avoid the pain because as as human beings our goal is to avoid pain find solutions get out when things are discomfort when there's discomfort we try to find comfort and that's your job your job is to show them that if you're not adding to that if you're not helping them be get rid of the discomfort they're coming to you for problem solving and you show them the procedure now again I like and this is this is different for every patient client is that I want to know the steps in the processes of what you're deducting just like a doctor if you ever had the doctor that just said here to do this I'm like but why why am I taking this medication well this is your diagnosis these are the things and this is my experience and usually this is the, the case you want to hear the explanation but you have to ask those questions also uh, this is going to be to all the men out there. All the men, you know this. I mean, a lot of us know this. And when you're an agent, you have to ask all the decision makers. I'm just going to pick out, it's a couple, husband and wife, uh, spouses, uh, partners, uh, in a home. You have to talk to both of them, ask them both questions. I can go to the men. Like, I've been through this. You go to the doctor, sometimes you bring your spouse or significant other with you because the doctor's asking you both questions and is your spouse going, no, remember that hurts then, or no, you're not telling him the whole story. You, you complain about this because sometimes, I don't, I'm one of those people, sometimes I just, I don't know, I just don't want to say all the stuff or you got to dig down or I don't know why. It just like, maybe it's a guy thing. You just don't want to show that you're in pain, that you're discomfort. And I think that's a lot with the houses too. And when you're selling a house, there might be one decision maker that just, I could do it myself. I don't really need this agent. I'm smart. I know what's going on in my market. So you got to continue. You got to talk to both the decision makers because sometimes the, their pain's different. One might be not telling you what they are. It's kind of like when not comparing our clients to children sometimes, but sometimes when you, your children, when you go to the doctor, you, the, the parent is with them because they don't know how to express themselves or really tell or they're scared to say what they really mean uh, sometimes. So uh, I'm using that comparison very lightly <laughs> on that. So you've got to continue to ask questions. You have to be with all the decision makers so of the house. So you know that some people just don't come out and say what their discomfort is. They don't know how to say it. They don't even know it's discomfort or it's it's a they're avoiding that problem and they need your solution to that problem like lowering the price fixing up the house decluttering uh checking on what's on the market what the new ones coming on the market are or a buyer a buyer says well hey you know i want this that this and i want to be in this city but they really you know might move into the other city because it's in the same school district they don't realize they want to be in this school district but that city right next door is the same school school district and they might want to be in that city or they say they want acreage but they really don't you know it's not like you want to change their mind but you want to give them solutions because they can't find the house here they might have there and any agent that's been in the business a while has seen buyers say I want to be here but after months of looking they buy over here and they change so you got to keep options open you got to keep on asking questions and showing them that you are the professional you are the one giving them the solutions and finding things that they didn't even think about that shows your your value and when you take away kind of like that story of uh is that lion and the mouse if you ever heard that where the the lion comes to the mouse and you know it's like we saw it in a cartoon as kids pulled the thorn out from the lion's foot and that mouse was like the now the lion's best friend because you, you took the pain away you 
you, you find the solution, no matter it, what it is. And when you do that for people, they're grateful. They're usually grateful. They're usually now friends for life. They're clients for life when they show them that you're going to make your lives easier. Take away the discomfort. Take away the pain and be the solution and find the solution for them. So today, I just want to say, end today with, remember that uh, you're stronger than you think you are. We're all stronger than we think you are. You're smarter than you believe you are. And remember, I always say this, there's nothing you can't learn and there's nothing you can't do in this business, no matter if you started yesterday and got your license yesterday, or if you, you've been in the business 20 years and you want to take your business to the next level. There's nothing you can't learn and can't do. So that's it for today. Sorry about the technical difficulty. If you were watching this on Facebook, I'm going to upload it again to make sure that uh, it's on my Facebook for everybody to watch. And all our Central 21 Homes, our agents, remember I email this to you every Saturday for the week. So make sure you're getting my emails too. So that's it. Have a wonderful Monday. We'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday at high noon. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.